Samantha R. Olmstead, the uh, the uh, flight attendant who has a van, who lives in her van there when she's uh, back at home base in New York City. She's uh, in Utah, I guess, you know, with some friends. And guess who she saw? That's right. Machine Gun Kelly. Wow. <laughs> Man, she's, uh, you know, uh, she's uh, she's having a good time, you know? There, Yeah, look at that. Good. Okay, okay. Anyway. All right, and, and we hear that Machine Gun Kelly is also, after he did this uh, concert there at the, on the mountain there in Utah, whatever, oh, there in Utah, he is um, going to uh, Lollapalooza. He's going to be performing at Lollapalooza, which starts today, uh, the 21st of um, um, October. Now, uh, that Nomad We Don't Talk About, Eric, uh, he did post on his Patreon, I just get to see his... Um, Idols. I can't see anything more than that. He is in Texas right now. So uh, he did say, I remember when they first announced Lollapalooza back in the spring for this, uh, for this fall uh, it, at the uh, Abilene State Park there in, in beautiful. Uh, I always think of Abilene is in Kansas. No, it's in, well, there is an Abilene in Kansas, right? There's Abilene in Texas too. Anyway, the Abilene in Texas, uh, he did say he was going to be there. So uh, we so far, um, we will keep an eye out for eye peeled for any um, videos um, that can confirm that. So please, folks, stay tuned. Hey, we did report yesterday that RV Joey's back. It was an accident, I guess. RV Joey isn't really back on YouTube. Uh, she was uh, apparently uh, had a video of a cat. What was it? A cat and a, meeting a deer. A cat was sitting there and a deer walked up and they kind of had a... a interspecies contact. Anyway, she was posting um, the video for a, a friend, or it was a relative, a relative. She wanted to show this to her niece or something, and uh, and she posted it on YouTube, but was going to make it a private video so that only the one person, or a few people could see it, and she accidentally made it public. So that was a mistake. So she wasn't planning to put that video up for everyone to see, and, it, and she took it down, so it's not there anymore. Darn! But she did, there were a number of comments in the video of saying, hey, it's nice to see you back. Are you planning to get back? She kind of hinted that maybe she might. But um, <laughs> we had a nice little few minutes to chat with her. And uh, she, she, she just said, yeah, it was a mistake. She didn't mean to post that. So officially, her last video was about nine months ago, back when she was, uh, she had this, I don't know, I guess she's still in the cabin there in Upper Peninsula, Michigan. We don't know. And she found her old RV there. But RV Joey, mysterious as always. Oh, are we done with RV Joey? Excuse me. Got to, uh, ooh. Uh, ooh. Oh, is that what I'm watching? <laughs> Coco Melon. I didn't watch anything Coco Melon. Hey, um, 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 the, the, the Trip and Tracy is down there. Uh, she's in Pigeon Forge now. Uh, we got to see You Know Who, who we don't talk about. R.I.P. Jax who was also in Pigeon Forge a couple weeks ago. So anyway, uh, but now she is there. I like that shirt. I love that shirt. I love that. That's a nice shirt. Anyway, uh, and she's facing, they always say, face your fear and it will disappear, right? Face your fear and will go away for a little while, but then it comes back again. That's what happens to me. When I face my fear, it'll go away for a little while, then it comes right back. So it doesn't work for long. Doesn't stick. Anyway, face your fear. She she has a couple fears. It, well, yeah. One of the fears is she was driving up this mountain road. It's really kind of creepy. That was you know one of her recent videos. And then the other one was doing this. You know they have all these funny like you know mountain these walkways that go over mountain passes and it's real high and it's all wobbling and everything. So there's a lot of scary stuff. But it's all controlled fear there in Gatlinburg. Your fear of the high prices and the crowds. I don't know. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Face your fear and it will disappear. Anyway, uh, nice stuff there from Trippin' Tracy there. Uh, you know, again, you know, we see nomads doing a lot of, uh, we see nomads at, at Pigeon Forge all the time, Dollywood, all that stuff. We see that frequently. It's a big place where a lot of people like to go and film videos. But Tracy puts her own inimitable, wonderful, a little bit kooky spin on it. And we love it. We love it. So uh, definitely watch this one. Yeah. And, uh, I don't know, man. You know, um, we, it, we still have questions about, you know, that particular 
other person in Ohio that she uh, was hanging out with a couple of uh, months ago over the summer. Um, I don't know. She's, <laughs> she's, I don't know. I don't know. What's up, what's up with that? We won't mention that anymore. Rear view mirror time, right? All right, we got uh, we got uh, box truck Dawn, Dawn of Van Life. There, she's uh, hunkered down in someone's garage there, with a lot of issues with her box truck. You know, she bought the box truck. What was that about? Well, earlier this year, I think, and she's been working hard fixing it up and getting it all built out. But there's still issues. There's a bunch of issues with it, especially some electrical issues that she needs to get fixed. And she's actually got a mechanic who's going to come out. And take a look at it. Uh, you know, one of those. Uh, you know, ho what are the uh, mechanic? How many mechanics can you find that will actually come to you? That's pretty cool. If you got a mechanic who's gonna make a house call, right? Make a, make a vehicle call. They, hey, that's neat. I like that. Anyway, and she's a little worried about how much it's gonna cost to get all this electrical stuff fixed up. But so sideline for the moment for uh, for Dawn of Van Life. Oh, oh, well, we want to wish a very happy birthday to Dawn. Happy birthday to Dawn. Yeah. That's right. All these nomads that hype their birthdays, huh? <laughs> oh, that's right. By February is Camo Dave's birthday month. No. If you have your whole birthday month, you know, then you can fundraise for your birthday for the whole month right now. Anyway, happy birthday, Dawn. I was watching uh, Simple Life Big Adventures. Look at that, Pilot Mountain State Park. Uh, you know what, I've, uh, or, <laughs> God. Um, Melinda and Scotty. Okay, I remembered them, I remembered them. I'm terrible with names. Melinda and Scotty. They were, they were here in Morganton just a couple of days ago and uh, they bought me a bottle of, uh, what did they buy me? They bought me a bottle of uh, Tito's Vodka. That's right. Thank you, Melinda and, and Scotty. They bought me some Tito's handmade vodka. They love it from Austin, Texas. They drove all the way down there to get it. No, that was, you can buy it at pretty much any liquor store. Anyway, but it's nice vodka. Hey, but now look at them. They are at Pilot Mountain State Park in North Carolina. Some B, and again, they are from Tennessee and they, they do a lot of videos about Tennessee and the parks in Tennessee and all this beautiful state. And now they're crossing the mountains to come over here to North Carolina and find out that, damn it, this state is just as pretty. In fact, we got a big seashore and a big ocean and, and you know, beaches. Uh, Tennessee don't have that, right? They don't, well, <laughs> that's a lot. Yeah, and we got big mountains too, okay? So we got the biggest mountain, the whole biggest mountain in the whole East Coast there at uh, Mount Mitchell there, six over 6,000 feet high, which is fairly small by Western standards, but it's big on the East Coast. Anyway, this is a very nice video. And uh, yeah, little, pill, little pinnacle overlook, uh, simple life, big adventures there. Uh, so check them out. Yeah, all right. Hey, we got a new one from Wonder Hussey Adventures. Surprisingly fascinating Golden Spike National Historic Monument. Oh yeah, you, me, and the RV, full-time RVing alone in the RV for the first time. What do you do? What? That's a good question. What do you do when you're alone for the first time in your RV, or for the second time, or the third time? I don't know, man. Uh, I've always said that I like to watch nomads that are solo. I think solo and simple. Solo and simple is what I always like watch. <laughs> Eddie Carney, uh, nighttime routine living in my car. Okay, uh, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, yeah, a lot of, you know, a lot of folks living in their cars these days. Now we got an update from Rossi Poo there. He talks about stuff and things. That, that's, a, that's good clickbait. Here's Rossi Poo there. He is uh, obviously no longer there in the mountains of western North Carolina where he spent the summer doing a camp what was he like? It was a camp where they had like water stuff, you know, canoeing and kayaking and stuff. And uh, and he was there all summer, you know, earning some dough for that. Now he's down in. Now, yeah, you can tell he's that's that ain't North Carolina with palm trees and high rise condos down. He's now down in Florida. So uh, backwards. I think he said I think he hinted that he's going to be spending a good chunk of the winter down there soaking up the sun there. With the, with the, growing out his beard. He also is uh, talking about uh, maybe getting back into computer networking work, which is, I guess, what he originally started doing. And he's got some computer issues and stuff like that. So, uh, you know. You know, hey, you know, as I've said many times before, the nomadic life can be 
fine temporarily for some folks, but sometimes it's back to get, sometimes it's, you need to get back to the <coughs> real world. Hey, I, I usually do, this is a letters, let us do, so let's do a letter here. Snow and Kurt, I actually got to hear from them. I mentioned the other day that they were currently my favorite nomadic channel with their trip to uh, through Central America and now over into South America. And I really love their channel with their two cats. And what, it, what an amazing uh, channel it is. Go watch them. Anyway, I heard from this. Uh, yeah, this came up in my flagged comments. I don't know why it got flagged, but it is, you know, this was, this was um, you know, anyway, so I had to unflag it. I don't know why YouTube flagged this comment. Again, people complain, Dave, well, I posted a comment and I didn't see it. Well, this got flagged. I don't know why. Anyway, Dave, what an amazing compliment to share our channel with your viewers. And we are so happy that our goal of sharing the journey included the good, the bad, and the in-between in a simple way that is coming through in our videos. But the best part of this video is that the way we wanted to share uh, the people from our journey is coming through as well. All of a sudden, we started getting all these comments saying, Camo Dave sent me. I'm so glad because now we can pop over and check out your channel. Wow. That's right. Tell, tell them. When you see me mention somebody on this channel, good or bad. So tell them, Camo Dave sent me. Hey, let's do some letters for the uh, 21st of October, 2021. Linda Forrester says, yes, sorry to see Destination Open Road gone. Really enjoyed them most of all, but five months since last posting says they're pretty well done with YouTube. I did talk to Scott and Terry a couple of, uh, what was that, a month or two ago, and they did say they're planning to return to YouTube. Uh, put some stuff up. Actually, they said at the time pretty soon, but... Terry's got some health issues, and they are looking for some property on the West Coast overlooking the ocean somewhere, and they did just sell their big house there, their big compound there in um, Washington State, but I do have a funny feeling we'll be seeing some of them sometime, some sign of them sometime pretty soon when we have the mass uh, influx of YouTubers down to Quartzsite for the winter. We were talking about whether YouTubers tend to be, YouTube nomads tend to be narcissists, meaning people that tend to focus on themselves all the time. Benny says, I think YouTube draws a certain type of extrovert that is maybe more full of him or herself than the general population, but I think it's a pretty good representation of what's out there. By the way, <laughs> Oh, okay, yeah. So-and-so's channel is becoming more boring now that she is trying to go legit. Hey, the narcissism is interesting, okay? That's all I'm saying. It's interesting. We're seeing people kind of, odd, they're more oddly compelling than non-narcissistic people, right? Frank says, YouTube also attracts wannabe TV stars. I see them every time I click on a video on how to fix or do something, but the uploader spends five minutes taking talking into the camera, making it just about them. Then they use the topic simply as a vehicle for you to click the video that the actual subject is an afterthought to them. This is a major point. This is a major downfall of YouTube. If you've ever yelled, get to the friggin' point, you know what I mean? Yeah. That is also very true. They do. It's all about you know, me, 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 me. Oh, yeah, by the way, my video is about this. Yeah. Hey, Rick says, while thinking about Camo Dave's rant about narcissism and many others, I wonder if he ever looks into the mirror. I do. <laughs> I love what I see. <laughs> I'm trying to, I don't know. I, I try to parody. I like to parody being narcissistic. Really? But I don't think I am. But... <laughs> McGuire's on tires. Hi, friend. Great points about narcissism. It's so easy to make everything about me, me, me. Once we change our focus to an outward direction, perspective changes and everything is different. You know, it is true. I think one key to happiness in, in life is to get out of yourself. If all you're doing is focusing on yourself all the time, you just sit there and are miserable. But if you're focusing on other stuff, other people, other things, and realize you're just a little part of the big world and enjoy the big world. And, you know, the world, you know, it, you know, and realize that there are other people that are having the same problems you're having. You're not so special. You're not so spatial. I think you tend to be a happier person. You know, narcissism is hard and it's, mis most narcissists are miserable, right? 
Uh, Dave, it looks like your armpits are bleeding. Hey, Warren Weissfuss. Hey, um, there was a tie-dyed shirt I was wearing the other day. I, it's in the wash now. But, yeah, it had red right here. <laughs> and it was like, it did. It looked like my armpits were on fire. <laughs> they were. I know, I didn't, I, didn't, I should have, it does have a weird effect. I did notice that, too. Asha says, it's YouTube, and it's about you. That's right. It's all about you. Unless it's the Camo Dave channel, then it's about them sometimes. Patty Stewart says, an inflated sense of self-importance defines YouTubers like bleep and bleep and bleep. Even bleep, who seems to be a nice guy. Otherwise, I'm drawn to people like Dave's RV Life, Matty Van Halen, and Campulance Man. No ego stroking, no manufactured outrage, and they show care for others. A lot of people were guessing who I was talking about in the uh, nomadic narcissists. 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 I, I can never spell. I, somebody said I spelled it wrong. Narcissism. Anyway, uh, Dave is clearly talking about bleep. Hubs1105 says, no surprise. Using a lot of verbiage he gets, he uses when he gives updates on her. Oh, okay. You can guess. I think, I do think, I really do think that a certain number of nomads that I cover, especially the ones that I tend to cover a lot of, are probably narcissistic, yes. And it's just because they're much more oddly compelling and much more filled with drama. Homesteader Lane says narcissism or narcissistic people tend to be more, it's more than just self-centered. They lack empathy and are willing to harm others or don't care if harm comes to another if they can advance their own self-interest. Most humans are not narcissistic. Controlling and manipulating and calculating, calculatedly cunning is more like it. And they also get bored easy. And also they have yodeling pickles and their followers pay them to... Like, that? Does that mean you're a narcissist? I don't know, man. I don't know. All right, everybody, that ought to do it for a little letters and more for the 21st of October, 2021. Thank you for watching Vlog Under.